and especially Professor Francesco Matera, and also for his nice words about Poland's contribution to this to this seminar. And of course, I'm extremely pleased to uh, to see uh, the major involvement of my my compatriots in in your proceedings, and and uh, so all the best wishes for for your father work. Um, I have to admit that I feel quite embarrassed speaking here in in, in front of a, such an august body as a someone who's coming from completely outside world and not really being competent in in this area. Uh, but I guess that this is the role of ambassadors that we have from time to talk, time to time talk about uh, whatever subject is. But um, um, I, I, I feel my, maybe even worse uh, since I was listening to two predecessors uh, from the city and province of Rome who really spoke about substance, and I was I was really quite impressed to to hear all those remarks as I'm fan of Rome. And I also feel a citizen, even of a temporary citizen of Rome, but I'm, I'm glad to hear that there is such an advancement in, in work on, on ICT in, in Rome. So I cross the fingers for, for the uh, good applications of, of all, all those good projects for, this, for the city. Uh, they, um, I, I would say that people from, uh, those from outside ICT community very often complain about too much technology surrounding us. And, uh, and uh, on, on the other hand, the contemporary societies uh, seem to be unable to, to function and to exist without access to, to ICT. Uh, we, we become more and more often uh, uh, ICT addicts uh, in terms of use of internet, smartphones, uh, iPods, etc. Uh, one can have impression that uh, that ICT uh, has become a new religion uh, of modern societies, in which uh, creators of new trends uh, and and new technologies ap appear to play a role of um, of gurus, of new gurus. Uh, who are followed by, by millions uh, of fervent believers. And um, I'm not trying to judge whether this is positive or, 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 or not, um, or whether this is right or not, but it just shows how deeply contemporary man is, is dependent on, on information and communication technologies. Um, therefore, I bow my head in front of researchers who have transformed our everyday lives, making the communication among people easier, faster, and more efficient, although not necessarily more comprehensible. Uh, and uh, I do not ex ex refer exclusively to the, to the technological difficulties, technical difficulties, but also in a deep sense of communication between, between men. Uh, on a uh, talking more on a on a digital ad agenda, I I'm, I I would like to refer to 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 say a few words about the uh, the EU's agenda in in this respect. And and first of all, the fact that um, it became the priority of the EU in 2010. Um, as one of the flagship uh, initiatives of the newly introduced Strategy Europe uh, 2020. During Poland's presidency in the EU in the second part of, of last year, of, uh, of 2011, my country made an effort to facilitate the implementation of the objectives of this initiative. We focused in particular on the issue of security and privacy in the field of ICT development, uh, of ICT, of development of e-government and creation of a digital single market, as we believe all of them contribute to foster growth and social progress. Poland is a place of uh, major investment in ICT. The government aims to provide uh, 27,000 kilometers of new broadband network in the coming years. The broadband band project for Eastern Poland is the biggest such project in the whole European Union. Although the EU has made a significant progress in creating ICT networks, there is still much to do in this area. 
in order to actually benefit from the EU digital single market, we have to support the development of ICT infrastructure in similar ways in all EU member states. It is not only important to provide unified regulations, but also to provide economic incentives for less developed regions in order to fully connect uh, nearly half a billion of EU uh, citizens. Therefore, the new EU budget 2014-2020 needs a strong cohesion policy, which has been the source of growth and innovation over the last years. The ICT has to find its adequate place in that robust cohesion policy. Ladies and gentlemen, traditionally, the series of international telecommunications networks symposia gather people from network operators, equipment vendors, and academia providing a vast platform for discussion. This uh, series has been recognized also by the Polish telecommunications community as one of the major research events. This is why the previous networks conference organized in October 2010 took place in Poland. The success of Networks 2010 is reflected in the interest shown by the international communications community for present event. I'm glad to see that Polish telecommunications com community has significantly contributed to Networks 2012, which deals with strategic issues for Poland. Uh, this year, Polish researchers contributed with two invited papers, one tutorial, and 12 regular technical papers. The, the so-called invited paper, as well as four technical papers from a, a form a special session entitled uh, Future Internet 2P Initiative to be held on Tuesday. The session is organized by Professor Wojciech Burakowski, the leader of large Polish research project Future Internet Engineering which is strategic to the development of Polish internet. Finally, I should mention that uh, Polish academics have contributed directly to the organization of Networks 2012. In particular, Professor Michał Piuro has served as technical program committee co-chair, Andrzej Jajszczyk as a tutorial chair, and Jacek Rak as a publication chair. I'm grateful for their contribution to this event. Of course, Polish contribution is only a part of great cooperative efforts of Italian and international institutions in preparing today's network 2012. So my appreciation goes to all who have worked on its preparation and who will contribute during the debates. Taking into account the level of participants, I'm convinced that the seminar will create an exceptional opportunity for a fruitful discussion and produce innovative solutions. So thank you very much and have a good time.